In the previous example, I mentioned that it is better to organize the alphabet in a circular manner, like we have here. That's much better than having the alphabet organized in a linear way, like we have it right here. And the reason for that was because when you have a shift cipher that goes over the letter Z, you have to start all over again. But if you have a circular arrangement of those letters uh, is much better in terms of a visual visually that you don't have to go start all from Z to A again you just go around that circle okay so what do I mean by that so remember when we shift to the right so when we go in this direction uh, shift to the right We move a certain number of positions to uh, encrypt uh, the message. So we move to the right to encrypt the message. And the couple of examples that we did uh, in this uh, class so far was uh, three units to the right. Now that kind of uh, shifting to the right, because now we are assuming that we have the uh, arrangement of the letters in the circular manner so shifting to the right will actually correspond to moving in this direction which is clockwise clockwise now which you do all we can also move to the left in the linear arrangement of letters so you can also shift to the left and that's what we used to decrypt the messages that kind of shift to the left will correspond to moving in this circular arrangement moving counterclockwise so moving in this direction this is counterclockwise so that's the situation here. So moving, shifting to the right, if we organize the letters in a circular way, it would be just moving clockwise, the number of uh, position that the shift uh, tells you, and shifting to the left will just correspond moving counterclockwise in, in the circular arrangement of letters. All right, so so that's just to review what uh, arranging the letters from linear uh, position into an arrangement that is uh, circular. Now I can do exactly the same, all the examples, or the two examples we actually did in the class so far, I can do those examples just using this circular arrangement. It will actually be easier that way. So let me do the last example, just to review. Of course, I'm gonna go a little bit faster here because this is just a review from the previous example. So remember from the previous example what we had, uh, the cipher was ch shift three positions to the right, which in this case correspond to moving in the circular arrangement of letters uh, clockwise. And the cipher text, if you remember from the last video, it was uh, fox. So let's get the, uh, sorry, that was not the cipher text, that is just the plain text. So the plain text, let me erase that and choose the white color. That's gonna be the plain text. And we want to transform that into the cipher text. And we're gonna use the circular arrangement of the letters. So we start with the letter F. So with this letter, F. And let's see what we have here. So F is right here. That's F. I move three clockwise because that's the translation from moving to the right here. So it's gonna be one, two, three. It's exactly the same we got last time. So F goes into I. So we are getting exactly the same as the cipher text from before. So this is I. O is uh, here, the yellow, let's choose the yellow here, so O 
shift three position clockwise so it's gonna be one two three uh, three goes into r let me choose the white color again so uh, that's r and finally the x and let me choose just another color let's say green x yeah. notice that i don't have to start again if i had the positions of the letters here in this linear manner i just have to just do it from the clock or clockwise so it's gonna be one so let's say one here let me choose the green color so one two three so the x will actually go into a so if i choose the white color then that will give me a all right it's exactly the same as before uh the only reason i wanted to uh I emphasize this is because uh, let's just think from now on that our letters and the capital letters in the English alphabet are organized in this circular position okay clockwise means moving to the right the number of positions that they tell you to do or they cipher is and moving to the left will correspond to going counterclockwise going in this direction okay so now that we have this arrangement, I will explain in the next video the number of ciphers, the number of Caesar ciphers that are possible with this kind of arrangement. It turns out that there are not that many. Even though you can have a, a Caesar cipher that says shift, for example, one unit to the right, two units to the right, etc., or maybe 10,000 units to the right, there's only few of them. And if that doesn't make sense to you right now, it will make sense later because when you have a number of positions that goes over the 26 shifts, it's gonna start repeating all over again. I'll explain that in the next video.